Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, August 15, 2014. This week, adding drop shadows to vellum. Vellum embellishments and papers have a really pretty translucent appearance. They're great to use over photos or papers because you get a softening effect on your original image. Adding a drop shadow to vellum can be a little bit tricky. Trying the usual method results in a darkening or a graying of the vellum. Here's how to give vellum a realistic looking drop shadow. Begin by opening a piece of digital paper and a vellum image that you'd like to shadow. Get the move tool and drag the vellum image onto the background paper. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of the vellum image so that we'll have more room. Go ahead and add a drop shadow to the vellum layer. You can either use one of Katie Pertit's drop shadow layer styles or you can select the layer and choose layer, layer style, drop shadow. Using this method you can tweak the shadow to your liking and click OK. You'll get a drop shadow but the vellum turns gray. So put the drop shadow on its own layer. By selecting the vellum layer and choosing layer, layer style, create layer. Or by right clicking on the drop shadow label in the layers panel and choosing create layer. You'll get a little warning box but just go ahead and click OK. In the layers panel now you've got the vellum layer on top with the drop shadow layer underneath it. Now you're going to want to get rid of the gray portion that's under the vellum. First hide the drop shadow layer by clicking the layer visibility icon which looks like a little eyeball on the left side of the drop shadow layer. Next get a selection tool like the rectangular marquee tool or the elliptical marquee tool depending on the shape of your vellum element. Zoom way in and make a careful selection around your vellum embellishment. Just move your cursor into place and then click and drag to make the selection. Now turn the layer visibility back on the drop shadow layer by clicking the layer visibility icon again. Select the shadow layer and click the add layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. This places a second thumbnail on your drop shadow layer. Double click that mask and select the word invert. This will be at the bottom of the properties dialog box that populates. Doing this will hide the portion of the shadow that's under the vellum embellishment. So now we've got that pretty translucent effect again, but we also have a drop shadow. Here it is before the drop shadow and after. Finally hold down the control key on our Onimax system the command key and click the vellum layer and the drop shadow layer. Then click the little link to link the two together. That way when you're ready to move your element around they move together. This is how you can preserve the integrity of the vellum but add a little bit of realism by adding a drop shadow. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Designer Digitals tip.